Photoshop Graphic Design Tutorial Number 3. In this tutorial, I will be creating this poster. Step 1 The Type Mask Tool. Click and hold down on the T in the toolbar. In the pop out menu, select the Horizontal Type Mask Tool. The font style can be selected in the Options bar. The size can also be changed using the Options bar. Click anywhere on your picture to start typing. If you would like to change your text after you type it, click and drag your mouse to highlight your word. You can then go to the options bar and change the style or the size. Move your mouse off the text until you see the move tool sign. You can then move your text to any part of the picture you want. Click the check mark in the options bar to turn your text into a selection. Step 2 New Layer via Copy. Click on Layer on the menu bar, New, Layer via Copy. This will copy your selection from the picture into a new layer. Step 3 The Move Tool. Click on the Move Tool on the toolbar. You can then move your text to any place you want. Step 4. Layer Style. With Layer 1 highlighted in blue, click on Layer on the menu bar, Layer Style, Outer Glow. In the Layer Style box, you can change the size of the glow. Click on Inner Shadow and click OK. This makes the text stand out from the background picture and you can see it a little bit better. Step 5. The Marquee Tool. Click on the Rectangular Marquee Tool. In the pop-out menu, select the Elliptical Marquee Tool. Click and drag your mouse to create an ellipse. You can then click inside the ellipse and move it to where you want. Click Select on the menu bar, Inverse. This will create a selection around the outside of the ellipse instead of the inside. Step 6. New Layer. Click on Layer on the menu bar, New, Layer. In the New Layer box, click OK. Now there is a blank Layer 2 in the Layers panel. Step 7, the Brush Tool. Click on the Brush Tool in the toolbar. In the Options bar, click on the Brush Preset Picker. In the pop-out menu, Select the tiny arrow to the top right of the box. Any of the brush presets can be selected from the list. Click on the one you like. Click Append to add to your current brush list or click OK to replace it. Next, click on the brush you would like to use. You can adjust the size to make it larger or smaller. The color of your brush can be selected at the bottom of the toolbar. Click on the foreground color box at the bottom of the toolbar and you can select whatever color you want. Click OK when you have selected your color. Use the brush like a rubber stamp tool. Click once without dragging your brush to create the effect of a rubber stamp. Keep clicking one time all over your border to create the effect of a stamp. Change the color of your brush and keep stamping to create a nice effect. Step 8. Layer Style. Click on Layer on the menu bar, Layer Style, Bevel and Emboss. In the Layer Style box, check mark Contour and then click OK. This gives the layer a little bit of depth and makes it look kind of like a painting. Step 9. Text on a Path. To put words going around the oval, we need to inverse the selection. Go to Select on the menu bar, Inverse. Now the selection is back to the inside of the oval. Select the elliptical marquee tool. Move your mouse to inside of the selection. Right click or control click on your keyboard and select make work path. Click OK on the make work path box. In the toolbar, click and hold down on the type tool. In the pop out menu, select the horizontal type tool. Move your mouse to the edge of the circle and click one time. 
You can then type in a path all the way around the edge of the ellipse. Click and drag your mouse to highlight your text. You can then change any of the options in the options bar. The style, the size, or the color. Click the check mark on the options bar when you have finished typing. Next, click on layer on the menu bar. Layer style, outer glow. Make the size and the spread just a little bit bigger so that the glow makes the text stand out from the background. Click OK and your poster is done.